available for 3D printing. The materials that are generally used and most affordable are PLA and ABS. They almost cost equal but may vary depending on the brand you choose. So what should you choose? Let's find out. Welcome to Rithi Define. My name is Saurav and today we are going to compare both the contenders based on some properties which may or may not be important to you. So you can select what you need and choose appropriately. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first property is ease of use. This is a very important point because what is the point of having material with great mechanical properties if you can't use them? PLA is much easier to print than ABS for the following reasons. Nozzle temperature required is less for PLA which is around 190 degrees Celsius whereas the nozzle temperature required for ABS is around 240 degrees Celsius. Bed temperature for ABS required is high too as compared to PLA due to fact that ABS can warp due to low temperature from the bottom and hence ruins the print. Closed chamber, probably heated, is advised for ABS due to the fact mentioned earlier that is it can warp in low temperatures and hence create gaps in the print and create big spots whereas PLA does not need a closed or heated chamber and can print absolutely fine without one. Point to be noted is that there are methods by which you can print ABS without a heated closed chamber but is not always reliable and needs some experience to get it right. So warping is a major issue in ABS that can ruin your prints if printed improperly whereas PLA is much easier to print without any warping and gives you a high accuracy and perfect print even if you are new to 3D printing. Hence. Number of failed prints with ABS is more than that of PLA, which is not ideal for a beginner. Now let's assume you have perfectly printed both materials without any warping. So let's check out some other properties. If you want to check mechanical property values, there will be a link down in the description. We are not going to do any standardized testing, but some simple experiments to get a feel of the material. Both the material is printed using same layer height, speed, infill and the same printer. We have designed two parts, one is a strip and other is a threaded rod. While printing ABS, there was a bit of warping as you can see in the video. But apart from that, no other problem is seen when we tried to break them. We observed for the strip that almost took same amount of strength to break them with ABS slightly on the higher side. The ABS strip felt a bit more flexible compared to PLA strip. PLA felt a little brittle. Now coming to the threaded rod. The ABS threaded rod required more strength to break it and almost no flexion was noticed in any of the material due to the print orientation which we will cover in detail in our upcoming video. So to conclude, PLA is more brittle and harder than ABS whereas ABS is more flexible and requires more strength to break. Now the thermal properties. In this we will see the effect of heat on material. We are going to focus on two temperatures. First is the glass transition temperature which is the temperature at which amorphous regions experience transition from rigid state to more flexible state making the temperature at the bottom of the solid state to rubbery state. And second is the melting temperature which is as the name suggests the temperature at which material melts. PLA has a glass transition temperature of 60 to 65 and melting temperature of about 170 whereas ABS has a glass transition temperature of 105 and melting temperature of about 230 degrees Celsius. These values are based on filaments which you used. Also depends upon the brand you choose. You need to understand that there are other factors which may affect the mechanical properties of these prints including how the part is designed, print orientation, layer height, print speed, extrusion width and infill percentage which we will cover in an upcoming video. I hope you guys have liked the video. So don't forget to hit the like button, share it and also don't forget to subscribe to watch more about 3D printing related content. If you want your object or design to be 3D printed, there will be a link down in the description box. Thank you for watching. Keep printing.